Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 using the script that I've been working on for quite some time now. Hence, inside of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can fix FPS drops, get more FPS and lower input latency in Fortnite and every other game that you play using that script. This script has taken me a really long time to make it work properly on your windows, so I would highly appreciate if you guys could leave a like. Also guys, I don't want to take more of you guys time with long intros but 91.2% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure that you show your support by pressing that subscribe button right now and with all of that out of the way let's get this video started so in order to properly demonstrate what this script can actually do I am here on a brand new windows installation that means I have done no tweaking no changes to it whatsoever so everything inside of this windows is set to default which I'm gonna be showing you guys in a second but if you guys want to apply this script then just go ahead and follow along with me because there are some steps that we are gonna be doing so just make sure that you follow me step by step and also just in case that you guys want to go ahead and create a system restore point I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to create one inside of this video as I have already shown in every single video previously so just go ahead and create a system restore point just in case that you guys want to revert any of the changes made by this script now that we are done with that let's go and check out the default settings for windows and i'm gonna be showing you guys then what this script can actually do so going into the settings going into update and security then delivery optimizations as you guys can see this is turned on then going into the privacy everything inside of here is turned on as well as set by windows default so as you guys can see that I have actually changed nothing inside of this windows and everything is set to default. Same goes for the search and all of the other things such as gaming, game mode is on, game mode is on and all of the settings inside of here are just set to default. Not only that but I'm gonna be showing you guys the mouse and keyboard settings just in case that you guys want to see those and as you guys can see they are also set to default. Then going into the keyboard settings they should be set to default as well because I have actually changed nothing inside of this windows. As you guys can see it's set to default as well. So what this script is going to do is actually change all of the windows settings. It's also going to change settings like mouse and keyboard and it's also going to change a lot of settings inside of registry. So this is a really powerful tool and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use it to get more FPS and boost the performance of your PC. So the very first thing that you guys want to do is once again create a system restore point. If you guys haven't already then go down into the description of this video and download the Regnetic Gaming script pack. Once it's downloaded, right click on it and extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever one you want. And once this pack is extracted, go ahead and open it up. Inside of here, you guys will find a bunch of files and folders, but go into the 0 one and that is a credit. Open it up and as you guys can see that it says the author is ddawman, timecard and the editor Regnetic. So basically this script is based on the script originally made by ddawman. So all of the credits for the original script go to him. I will leave the link to his github profile down below in the description. So make sure that you guys check him out and his project the gaming PC. So all of the credits for the original work go to the dollman. I made some changes in it and made it work on the newer 20H2. So that's why I have my name in the editors. But all of the credits for the original work once again go to the dollman. He's also known as Timecard and I will provide the link to his profile down below in the description. So now that we are done with that, going to one how to use and inside of here you guys will find each and every step that we are going to be doing inside of this video to make this script work. So starting off, copy the regnaticgamingscript.ps1 file to your desktop. So that would be this last file right here. Just right click on it, click on copy and then paste it on your desktop. Once that is done, what we are going to be doing next is right clicking on this file right here that we just pasted on our desktop, editing it and changing the my username to your own username. So how we do that? We right click on it, click on open with and then go ahead and open it up with notepad. Once that is done, click on OK and it should open up something like this. Don't worry, we are gonna be only changing one thing and that is dollar sign my username equals put your username here. Inside of this box that I have just selected, put your username here, we are gonna be changing it to our own PC username. Because everyone has a unique username and in order to make this script work, we have to put your username inside of this script right here instead of put your username here. So how do we check that? Go into the pack that I just provided you guys and you guys will see to check your username folder shortcut inside of here. Just go ahead and open it up and it should have the public folder and then it will have your username. For me, I have the Regnetic. It could have more than one if you have more than one users, but just select the one that you are running this script on. For me, I am on Regnetic, so that's what I'm gonna be putting inside of this script. So just go ahead and type it in like you would. 
just make sure that there are no mistakes or anything don't touch anything else just click on file and then click on save and then you can close out of this go back into the pack and then moving on to our next step that would be step number three that is to open powershell as an administrator so i have provided the link for powershell inside of here as well just right click on it run it as administrator hit yes and it should open up powershell as an admin now you can minimize this and now we are going to be copying a bunch of different commands from this how to use file into our powershell so first up we are going to be changing the directory for our powershell that is step number four we are going to be changing the directory of powershell to our desktop so just select this cd desktop command right click on it click on copy go into the powershell right click once again and it should paste it right there then just press enter this is going to change the directory or the path for our powershell to our desktop where we have pasted our script so that's how we are gonna make it work then in the next step that is step number five in order to get the full access for the script and make it run we are going to be setting the execution policy for the script to unrestricted so just go ahead and copy this command and then once again paste it inside of powershell you can pause the video if you think that things are getting complicated rewatch it just make sure that you follow me step by step once it's pasted there once again press enter it will ask if you guys want to set the execution policy to unrestricted just go ahead and press y and then press enter once again once that is done we are going to be configuring the script's content so in order to do that go down to step number six so just go ahead and copy this whole command the arithmetic gaming script.ps1 copy it and then paste it inside of the powershell go ahead and press enter it is going to take some time about 10 to 15 seconds or so depends on your pc but it's going to configure the script and it's also going to make this notepad file right here so just go ahead and open up that notepad file and inside of this file i have provided everything that this script is going to change if you guys want to go ahead and read it then go ahead and read it and this is a final warning for those of you guys who don't want to change any settings to just go ahead and read this and if you guys want to continue then continue along and if you guys don't want to continue along then just type right here so once you guys have read through this it's up to you guys if you guys want to continue but i highly recommend you guys that you do continue because this is going to help you guys a lot with fps draw Drops, stutters overall performance and latency as well so these are all of the changes that is going to be making and once that is done go back into the how to use once again and inside of here you guys will see that in the step number seven we are going to be starting a new service called the windows remote management this is necessary in order for the script to run so just go ahead and copy this command start service name winrm and paste it inside of the powershell then go ahead and press enter and it should be okay now some of you guys after pasting this start service command will get an error and that's because you guys have already disabled this service so in order to enable it just go into the pack and then right click on the start winrm service run it as admin then it will ask you guys that if you want to configure it just go ahead and type y every time and then press enter and it is really easy and it guides you through every step and once the service is enabled just go ahead and copy this command once again and paste it inside of here then continue along with me so once the service has been started just go ahead and go on to the eighth and the final step and that is to copy this command start the dsc configuration and then go ahead and copy it and paste it inside of the powershell now this is the last command that we are going to be running and it is going to make every change as you guys will see right now so once you guys have pasted that inside of powershell just go ahead and press enter and then wait for it to do its work You guys will see giving it some errors inside of here as well but that's completely fine and normal that's because some of the changes are not allowed to be changed so yeah just go ahead and wait for it to complete its work and after that we will be done with this script so once the script finishes doing its work just go ahead and close out of the powershell close out of this as well and then you guys need to go ahead and restart your pc for all of the settings to be properly applied now just in case that you guys are wondering what this simple reverse folder is for go ahead and open it up and if you guys see an error by going into the power options just like this one you can use this restore all power plans dot bat to show that and also i have disabled the show sleep option inside of here if you guys couldn't tell so there is no sleep option so for laptop users who want to use this sleep option just go ahead and apply this registry file to get that other than that just go ahead and restart your pc
So right off the bat as you guys can see that it has disabled this wallpaper that used to be right here in, in the background of your password settings. So yeah it has disabled that for faster boot. So I'm gonna be just going ahead and logging in. And now it's time to check all of the settings that it has disabled or turned off. If you guys didn't notice that this task bar used to be transparent but it changed to this dark and non-transparent while we were applying the script so that change was instant. However some changes need to restart your PC in order to apply properly. So we are gonna be going ahead and checking the windows settings and see what it has changed. Starting off by going into the update and security, then going into the delivery optimizations and as you guys can see that it has turned off this, then going back, going into the privacy settings, everything here is turned off as well as you guys can see. I have enabled the microphone because I'm using the microphone but in case that you guys are using the camera as well just go ahead and enable it manually from here. Other than that it has turned off everything as you guys can see, even the background apps. Then going into the search. This should be set because it was already on that and there is no indexing running so that's a good thing. Then going into the gaming, game bar should be turned off, game mode should still be turned on and a lot of things have changed such as going into the system, then going into the notifications, all of these are turned off as well, focus assist should be turned off and there are transparency settings inside of personalization I think, going into the colors and as you guys can see the transparency effects are turned off as well. Not only that, I showed you guys the default keyboard and mouse settings. So going into the mouse settings, we're going to be checking if it has changed that as well. And as you guys can see, the enhanced pointer precision is unchecked and this should be set to 6 bar as well. Then going into the keyboard settings. And as you guys can see that these have been changed as well. So all of the changes have been successfully applied. Now at this point, you can go ahead and delete the script if you want. Uh, just go ahead and copy this simple reverse file just in case that you guys need it in the future but we have successfully applied this script after that you guys should be ready to game and you guys will see a huge improvement in your gaming performance not only in games like fortnite but also in every other single game that you play because we have just changed a lot of windows settings inside of a specific game settings so this is going to tremendously help you guys with the stuttering the fps drops input lag and all that good stuff so yeah guys that was the script inside of this video i have been working on it for quite some time now and i would really really appreciate if you guys could leave a like and show your support by pressing that subscribe button because as you guys already know that 91.2 percent of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure to press that subscribe button right now if you guys will be buying anything from the fortnite item shop make sure to use code regnetic or use anyone else's code it really doesn't matter make sure to support your favorite creator because making content is not easy help others and spread positivity whenever you can and with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then, stay awesome.